Girl, before I even start talking about the other stuff, girl, let me, what in the is going on with NeNe Leaks? Girl, I just got through scrolling on the neighborhood talk, and somebody, this boy, he looks young as hell. Well, younger than uh, NeNe Leaks, not like in that type of way, but he didn't post a picture of him laying up with NeNe Leaks, and he didn't post a song, Future talking about some. If I hit you once, and you're a part of my collection. And I'm like, this ain't the same older dude that Nene said she was happy with and that she was dating, she was like, whatever. I'm gonna be completely honest. This is giving <laughs> desperation <laughs> and delusion. I, there, I, I'm just really confused of what's going on because even them laying in the bed, like it just don't even look realistic. Like. I just like Nene let it. <laughs> Girl, y'all not believing this mess. Like Nene is trying to stir the pot and have like the oil fall over the fire and to just create as much chaos to be like we have to give either Nene a show or we have to put her back on Housewives to see what is going on. And it's just like. I, I I don't know. Like, folks say, well, no, you know, she just doing something. No, this is very much giving Nene wants to be back to Real Housewives of Atlanta. This is very much giving, like, Nene is trying to make sure she's staying relevant because she is starting to fade a little, little bit in the public eye. Like, we love her. Like, <laughs> we love Nene down, but it's just like, Nene, you have gotten more than two, three chances to show yourself and why you why you deserve us watching you on Housewives of Atlanta and you've not delivered the last couple of reunions. It's just like, I don't want to see Nene, Nene in the reunion no more. I don't want to see Nene in the show. She had like she didn't want to film. She had like she didn't want to be around the girls. It's just like, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see, I don't want to watch nobody on a reality show who act like they don't want to be there. Like, I like I just don't. Like, if you too good for the show, then leave. Then leave. If you too good to be on the show, da da da, then leave. I just don't get it, but yeah, hunger. Like Nene is down bad, child. I just I'm not understanding this. Uh, it's it's giving desperation and delusion. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about it. Moving on, Jay Z was on the Clubhouse the other day. I think it was for Alicia Keys stuff. I don't know what she was on there talking about. Who cares to be honest? But Jay Z was quoted in saying that nobody can see him on the stage. Uh, he was giving very much Sierra like, you better hope I don't get a stage or something. What did Sierra say to Rihanna? You don't want to see me on or off the stage or <laughs> something. <laughs> and Rihanna saying, girl, good luck booking this stage that you speak of. <laughs> oh my God, Twitter used to be a wild place. But uh, Jay-Z basically said that and some folks said, well, you know, we. I think Future will be able to end him. I think Future even probably said that he could give go toe to toe. Grace, I know. It's not happening, child. It's 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 not even happening in in the least. Like a future versus a Jay Z. And what in what universe? In what universe is is future finna be eating Jay Z up? Like, come on now, come on now, like, come on now, like nobody, like girl, girl. It, it's definitely not giving that, but you know, the girls is talking they mess. They talking they mess, so <laughs> I don't know, but some folks said maybe, um, maybe, you know, the person who can come for Jay-Z could be Gucci Man. Gucci who? Gucci Man? <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, ah. The girl said Gucci Man. I don't see it for Gucci Man either. Um, and then somebody posted the Lil Wayne video. Gucci Man. Gucci? Gucci Man? <laughs> Out. That took me out. Gucci Man, Jay Z, hell no. <laughs> they said one Jay Z album will eliminate Gucci Man's whole career. It's a no for me. And some people said Lil Wayne, and they said, "Girl, ain't nothing standing with, like between them but three dreads." I screamed. I I I screamed. I I I <laughs> I I I I I like I just. I don't know, the, the only person who made sense would come for E J Z up, they said it would be Beyonce, and all she gotta do is play Lemonade. You say, yeah, that was all good, but let me play play the song where Jay-Z, I talk about Jay-Z cheating on me. Baby, Lemonade, yes, God. <laughs> lemonade definitely would eat Jay-Z up. Like, <laughs> talk about you selling dope, selling, talking about this. We gonna talk about you cheating on me. 
when I was married, when we was like, when we, me married, we got a child and all this other stuff. You cheated on me. Let's talk about that. Let's not talk about what, let's talk about right now. Um, and I will be screaming. I will be screaming. That would be hilarious. But Grace, all fun and games and all the other stuff. Um, Clubhouse is a fool. That's how you know um, the COVID is still here because Clubhouse is still here. Um, Twitter has started to Clubhouse. I hate it. I hate Twitter Spaces so much. I wish. I wish I can just not see it. I wish not to see it. I wish not to see it. I just don't want to see it. Um, but yeah, you got, you got, you know, that. And I just, I don't see, I don't, who do y'all think could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Jay-Z? Name that. Name that. Tell me. Would it be Mama Tina? Talk to Mama Tina? Let me know. Um, you know who I think could eliminate Jay-Z? Britney Spears. Ha, ha, ha. Britney Spears, baby, Britney Spears was on Instagram. I don't know if you want to call it yodeling or hollering or something. She said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want you to know just what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Since I'm the hot flaming mess. Uh, but it was cute. We're glad to see Britney living her truth. She was in the mirror just recording herself, just singing. Um, they put it over Mary Mary and I screamed. They put them, the shockers off my feet so I could dance. Yay! <laughs> and I had Britney Spears singing over there. I literally hollered. It was hilarious. But Britney on this, you know, she just, you know, calling her family out some more. Talking about her brother control her friendships. All of that. Like, Britney is just spraying the hell out of her family. I, I, like, sis has been through a lot. She's been, like, Brittany has been through hell and hot water. And I hope that, I hope that she gets better. I hope that she gets better. And, and I just, I'm just, I don't know. Because that was a lot. Like, sis used to be that girl. Like, I, I can only imagine. I can't even imagine the things that she's been through. But I'm glad that she's still here. She's still with us. All of that. Um, Circus is my favorite album from Britney Spears. That was my jam. Oh, eyes on me in the middle of the ring, it's like a circus. Uh, uh, watch me. Uh, uh, I love it. Y'all see, I'm about to get into it. Hey, oh, period, period. So, girl, let's talk about Devin Franklin and Megan Good, girl. Like, the, the tea is coming out that friends and family saw this. Well, you know, friends and stuff saw this coming like early on it's like girl I don't see it I don't see it um you know girl I'm gonna be completely honest like I talked about this a little bit in a previous video but you can watch old interviews and stuff when when um Pastor Devon Franklin was talking about love and being with Megan like Megan was just not in that like Megan wanted to be happy she wanted to be in love but she never wanted to be signed up in Christianity like that full-fledged like submit to your husband all the other stuff like I, I just don't get it. Like, I mm, I didn't even know that Devon Franklin was a um, Seventh-day Adventist. They have been separated in, since August the 21st, 2021. And uh, I, there are some folks who, who are saying like that it might have been because she didn't want to have kids. I, I can believe that, but I also just don't think that she wanted this. I don't think she really wanted this, to be honest. I don't think she wanted what he wanted, which was, like, total, like, praise is what I peace, what I mean. And it's just like, girl, she ain't like, uh-uh, girl, it's, this is a no. This is a no. It's a no. It's a no for me, dog. Um, but I hope Megan find her a man. You know, she's on the new show Harlem, and then they said that he was, you know, they kind of found out that this is something's going on because he wasn't on the press tour with her. Um, and it's just like, how was he going to be on there when that, when that show is about, like, sex and all that other stuff? It, it would have been good, but that man, he just he's just a Christian robot. And I don't think that's something Megan wants to be, and I'm glad that she got out of it and said, girl, I don't, not, not the rest of my life. Not the rest of my life. Love that for her. But um, I will be watching Harlem this weekend so I can review that on Patreon. Definitely will be doing that. Um, yeah, so, girl, this... Mm, 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 mm. 
that's all I got for this King of Reeds video. Tell me what y'all feel about this whole girl. I don't know, child. I, 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 I hate for anybody who's been in a relationship that long, a marriage that long. And I, I ooh, girl, we be out here wasting our time, child. I don't want to waste my time. You want to waste your time. Waste your time with me, but not in marriage and not in a relationship. We can kick it and enjoy each other, but I ain't wasting my time with you and no wedding, no, no marriage and all that. Like, girl, you can waste your own time, but I don't want to waste my time that type of way. But it's just like, if I'm bored, I ain't doing nothing. Yeah, yeah, I would like somebody to like waste some time with Like, hey, girl, I want to kick it and do all this other stuff. But let me tell you something. It's hard to even find that because these men just don't want to do right. They just don't. Now I'm going to go in and drag a little bit because... Even me, like, I just, I got, they just don't want to do right. Let me take this over to Patreon. That's where the tea is there, girl. That's why I'm going to give y'all the tea here, girl. Let me go ahead, because these men wasted my time. But, um, yeah, girl, that's all I got for today on this King of Reads video. I hope y'all enjoying y'all Christmas. I hope y'all enjoying the things. I love y'all so much, and I'll talk to y'all later on tonight. Bye.